Dun, 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 dun. Hey, Eli, how you Hello. doing? Hello, I'm good. Can hey. you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. So, first up, up are you nervous? Hey. To the first one up? No, I don't get nervous. Okay, so tell us about this tequila. Okay, well, who's my audience? Who's who's drinking? Is uh, I I can't drink. <laughs> We okay. have people from all around the country logged in to this webinar. So there's lots of okay. folks um, with different ki with kits in front of them. Um, okay. They all have um, Mi Casa Blanco uh, okay. U.S. inventory. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So the Blanco you're drinking is grown from agave that we've been growing on our ranch in Michoacan. Is, uh, we've been growing agave in Michoacan since 2000. And we came to the market with this product in 2011. Um, I believe what you guys are drinking is uh, lot two, which was most likely lot two, which was distilled in a, or bottled in 2012. And so the really cool thing about this is that uh, the land, you know, we, we started growing the agave. So it's my parents and my sister and I and that land had not been used for growing agave. So it's virgin land. The soil is very iron rich. So we have this really nice red soil. And the agaves uh, that we harvested for this lot average between 32 to 30, 34 bricks, so it's natural sugar contents. So you get something that uh, leans on the sweeter side uh, naturally. And as far as distillation goes, um, you know, nothing too fancy here. It's it's a uh, stainless steel steam ovens for about 17 hours. Um, it uses a proprietary champagne yeast out in uh, the distillation gets done at a uh, Casa de, de Caliera de Randas, which is right there in um, tequila country. And we started working with them um, right away because of the manager at the time was really familial and he was the kind of guy who would return your phone call and follow up with you. And, uh, and so that was the beginning of our journey into tequila. The Blanco has actually gone on to win a number of awards, including the double gold medal at the San Francisco International Spirits Competition in 2014. Um, and question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big question. Okay, so so you're growing the agave in Michoacan and then moving it over to Jalisco to tequila country to, to have yeah. tequila, right? How right. how long how common is it to have um, the agaves come out of Michoacan? I know that the territory mm -hmm. that, that there are communities where it's allowed, but how how common is that? So with us in particular, they had to redraw the boundary to include us into the map. So I don't know if it's very common at all. Um, Why would they, they do that? Do you have something on them? Do you have like some blackmail photos <laughs> or something? I, I think that the CRT was happy to see Mexicans owning their own brands of tequila and were willing to help us. That's awesome. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, sorry, I didn't mean, well, I did mean to interrupt clearly. But... You know, I, I talk really fast, and so probably it's good that you interrupt me whenever you feel necessary. Excellent. So you've won a bunch of awards with this beautiful tequila. It's been sitting in glass since, what'd you say, two, 2012? Oh, yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, it's been bottled for a long time now. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That's beautiful. So it's, well, it's you know, really, but, it's nine-year-old be... tequila. Yeah, well, the... You know, when we when we came to market, there was a number of you know factors. For one, we were just growing agave, and the the whole you know 2008 financial crisis hit, and there uh, and we needed to get smarter about it because all of a sudden that agave was not worth as much as we put into it. And so we got the ball rolling about, you know, what are we going to do? Do we have what it takes to launch our own brand of tequila? And, you know, it's, um, and so it kind of just snowballed and a lot of things went right for us. For example, the CRT, you know, uh, drawing the boundaries to include our ranch. And, 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 and which part of Michoacan is your ranch in? 
Mm. So the closest town would probably be <laughs> El Cucuno or Benjamil, which is nowhere on the map. Um, <laughs> I would say that if you were looking at the map, you're looking about uh, a half inch from the center. <laughs> but it's the northern highlands. We're about at 6,000 gotcha. feet up. Okay, yeah. beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> Sorry, so they redrew the map <laughs> in order to include you. Yeah, so that you could... yeah. So you were you were intention you were initially just growing the agave then with the thought that you were going to sell it to somebody else. Oh, so that's the thing. So we so we were growing the agave, and uh, yeah, we were selling it to other producers. And when we came to our first harvest, you know, our first two harvests, we harvested, you know, um, four to six hundred tons. You know, which is about as much as Fortaleza harvest per year, and they have a, a large market share, right? And so we had 600 tons of agave that we harvested, and that we distilled, and that we bottled for ourselves, and nobody knew who we were. So, like, you know, for so we we produced Very like we had a glo a global audience, but really we um you know we had to put in the groundwork to and basically we covered as much ground as we could on our feet so the bay area was you know it's my stomping grounds and uh, my sister and i um back in 2011 through 2015 um primarily did the whole door-to-door -door thing wow is that legal to sell sell booze door-to-door -door? that's awesome <laughs> oh yeah if you got the right licenses <laughs> fair enough <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. So you guys also do um, uh, age, you barrel age some of your tequila, correct? This is true. So on the market right now, we do have a reposado that's aged in Jack Daniel barrels for 10 months. And then our añejos uh, been rested for 30 months. Same Jack Daniel barrels. The stuff that we have aging right now is at the nine year mark and Arik and his wife, Courtney, uh, synced up with myself in Mexico, and we went through 118 barrels of this nine year, and we graded them all at different proofs. Whoa, and we'll be really, whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, you can't just blow that out. You went through what? You tasted through what? 118 barrels? 118 work. barrels. It was work. Yeah, we were there for, oh. I believe, uh, seven or eight days. Wow. Okay. Okay. Nice. <laughs> so, with the results, there is uh, two different types of releases that are going to come from that single barrel tequila uh, and small batch tequila, all with your, their unique profile, all nine-year-old. So all of this is from nine-year-old barrels. Uh, and so small batch means you've blended it mm. from the multiple barrels. Okay. Yeah. And so how many right. barrels do you use in a batch? So we made batch. we made six batches, and I believe they're. I mean, I don't have the notes in front of me now, but yeah, anywhere eight between barrel five, barrel. five, yeah, like eight yeah, barrel between batches, five, five to eight barrel batches, yeah. and then and there were um, eight, I think, barrels or six or eight barrels that were uh, lights out, certified bangers. We were talking about, and. Oh, yeah. um, those are going to be released under a separate brand name, declassified, because they are going to be bottled without dilution. So barrel strength, single barrel. And that's going to be roughly what percentage of alcohol? Oh, they range from 55 yeah. to 72. 79. 59 is 71 point something. Yeah, between yeah. 58 and 72. They were, yeah. So That's so sweet. They're incredible. The, uh, the highest proof one, the 72% one, there's probably only 10 or 12 bottles available for market. That's all that was left in the barrel. And and how how does uh, clearly Chava won't get one because he's not here. So how does somebody how does somebody <laughs> qualify? How do you release? How do you even allocate that? That's crazy. Uh, uh, I mean, we haven't we haven't gotten there yet. We're still we haven't um, gotten there yet. I think for I think, I think I th one of the rules has to be you labels. attended this tasting, right? Well, I think that um, there's a number of people that have been retailers that have been supporting the brand for over a decade. And of course, that makes sense. you know, like yeah. they would 
been supporting. Um, yeah. I don't know. You know, Arik is uh, Arik has his his mind wrapped around these things more than I do. I uh, I know I'm gonna have my bottles. <laughs> I know I've got mine. <laughs> okay, we'll and, and, figure that out when the time comes. We still need to file the label on that, so we're a little bit away. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we've got less than a minute left. Is there anything else you want to share with us? Ooh, um, you know, I'm really grateful to uh, be having these continued conversations of agave and being able to have this kind of. Uh, enthusiasm for this agave and tequila culture in 2021 um you know it's a year where a lot of people maybe had to abandon a lot of things that um you know weren't essential for them but i do think that um you know the 10 years that arik and i have been diving through the world of agave it's nice that minds are meeting and collaborating and we're still growing and um that wouldn't happen without people like you and your audience and so just thank you and thanks for having me on oh they're not my audience this all belongs to Ari and you guys no. <laughs> yeah. cool thanks it's a pleasure meeting you i so look i, I really enjoyed drinking the blanco as i was supposed to be making the little samples uh, so that was fun <laughs> i only got like half the samples out of it, but i'm really looking forward to one of those very high proof bottles that's good even if it's just a little taste is all i'm saying yeah, Ari. yeah we can make that happen okay it will for sure Beautiful cool. meeting you, Eli. I look forward to actually doing it in person uh, when things are possible. Cool. Thank you so much. Thanks. Okay. Now, now, 